before going for outbound process i want to explain the stvo process stvo process with wm okay how will be the stvo process with the wm okay so stvo process with wm sto stop transport order sto creation me21n stock transport order okay so sto creation with me21 and tables also similar tables and um, after when you are working with sto there will be a concept called outbound delivery okay outbound delivery will be created that will be either you can make it automatic or else you have to create manually with vl 10b so outbound delivery tables are similar to the okay similar to inbound delivery tables la kp la ps eks and all you can get the data so after outbound delivery what you have to do create i think we can con we can copy these steps transfer order against the outbound delivery okay so lt03 transaction is same confirm transfer order is same then inbound delivery you can create and uh, transfer order confirm post goods is it yeah that's it when it comes to sto what happened we got these additional three steps in case of purchase order the purchase order will be created and send the po to the vendor so vendor will deliver you the goods and he will tell you that on this day i am going to send you this 30 pieces or 50 pieces or 80 pieces based on that quantity you are going to create inbound delivery you are going to create uh, inbound delivery and then transfer order means uh, you are based on the put away strategy system will allocate a bin you create the transfer order after that the confirm transfer order means you are placing the stock into the bin okay in case of uh, once the goods set is completed system will post the accounting entries in case of sto what is happening after creation of sto by the receiving plant and uh, at supplying plant delivery will be created and then they will do the picking okay this one we call it like a picking transfer order whatever transfer order against outbound delivery we call like a picking process we are removing the stock okay in case of transfer order against inbound delivery same transaction but this, this is a put away transfer order okay maybe for your more clarity you can add that word uh, put away transfer order here picking transfer order just for a more clarity put away the receiving process we call like a put away and here it is a picking i hope it is helpful for you so now what i am going to do so we have done uh, inbound and uh, sto these are the steps and tables and all okay so here i want to to tell one point okay so maybe we can insert any kind of a uh, shapes okay see for example this is receiving area okay this is receiving area there are multiple doors would be there okay there would be multiple doors door door 1 door 1 maybe door 2 door 3 okay let's take it to three doors are there and they will just do that uh, receiving way maybe door 1 door 2 and door 3 okay that's just doing for the uh, receiving concept how they are working on that so when the truck comes here okay for example let's take it any kind of a truck is available here Mm. 
So if any truck comes here, for example, when you are doing the once the truck is received, then only you will create the inbound delivery. Okay, the inbound delivery will be created when the truck comes. If you are using any EDI kind of function, the vendor will already inform you that on December 3rd, I am sending you the 80 pieces of truck is coming to your place. So inbound delivery will be created in advance. Okay, so then you can plan for the put away process. So once the truck comes, the receiving process will be uh, initiated. Then um, here the scanning the transfer order will be done after that you are going to move the stock to the bin area so you are moving to the bin area here the bin will be like uh, you may have uh, different kind of uh, bins and all right so for example you would have uh, some kind of a racking you would have this kind of a racking so that racking um, you may have a different uh, racking let's insert uh, similar kind of a boxes it may have a four levels of racking and all okay, that you can just segregate it okay, these are the different levels of rackings are there so maybe level 1 okay. you can say 1 2 3 4 5 total 5 levels of racks are there here the transfer order will be created whatever when you are placing the stock into the bin you will do the confirm what is this confirmation of transfer order you are confirming that i am placing that respect to material okay whatever material i have taken that material we are keeping uh, in this place okay for example in the level one we put the mat respect to material okay. what are the material you are keeping that you can keep it like what are materials we put it then the confirmation of transfer order so during receiving the truck is arrived inbound delivery will be created after truck is received certain companies will follow that one where there is no uh, edi concept like uh, vendor will send the information that will automatically create the inbound delivery if you don't have you will create once the truck comes the truck is received and the complete unloading will happen at this door the based on rf device you can utilize uh, to create the transfer order in the uh, ignition inbound delivery or else you can create transfer order in the desktop and you just uh, do the confirmation concept Okay. So once this uh, material is received and the scanning completed, the material will come to the bin and you can keep it in um, level 1 or level 2 or level 4 based on the, the strategies. We have different different type of strategies we can put it. Uh, heavy materials can go to the level 1, level 2 and medium materials can go to level 3, level 4 and uh, light materials can go like that and uh, certain companies will go like fast moving materials level 1, level 2, slow moving can go to level 3, level 4 like that because fast moving at level 1, level 2 means they can take quickly. Okay? These kind of all strategies you need to understand. The uh, STO also you can uh, similar way you can understand that the receiving process will be similar. Okay? After outbound I will just explain you how the outbound can happen. IM to WM without TR number. Uh, in the configuration you can make it whether you want to skip the TR or not okay uh, in um, interfaces and all we have a configuration right so let me show you that in that configuration you can uh, make the TR as uh, is not required like that let me show you in SAP screen go to slash n SPRO reference IMG Go to logistics execution. Logistic execution. Warehouse management. Interfaces. Inventory management. 
define moment types in this configuration if you go to the second first one you will assign the reference moment type to im and all for example uh, let's take any of your warehouse maybe 100 reference moment type is 311 okay so 311 or whatever moment type what you are going to do so for that moment type here you can remove the do not create any transfer requirement for the respective moment type the 311 uh, whatever you are going to use it for example 101 311 okay or you can use star 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 311 okay so for example this is the one maybe your uh, warehouse number you don't want the tr then copy that config and uh, don't change that to star star it will impact to other uh, complete warehouses so you need to decide uh, for which warehouse number you are working on that and uh, for that warehouse number for example there is something warehouse is there for this you can remove the tr creation so when you perform the uh, transfer between uh, those things system will not create the transfer requirement okay so this is just an example and an idea for you the how you can manage that okay